I'm Ellen Ray, and I make paintings and drawings about the ways in which we connect to each other and to the natural world through genetics, consciousness, and just a shared history of being on the earth together. Um, you've asked me about my art practice during the time of COVID, and I will tell you it has a little bit knocked me off my feet, especially at first. Um, I started off just making sketches and um, small works and that kind of thing, but um, a, a large part of my process is meditation and reading and researching, and um, some days I feel like my brain has just been replaced by a little ping pong ball bouncing around up there, making it hard to focus on anything for very long at all. So, um, you know, the, the, the small works were helpful at first. Um, and then something happened that I, I didn't know was going to be so helpful that ended up being really helpful. I moved my studio about a month ago. And in a very physical way, that uh, just allowed me to, or forced me to, set up a new environment uh, in which to work. And along with that came just a new way of working. Um, but I, I really do think that um, experimenting and just keeping our hands moving doing sketches and that kind of thing are really important if you're having a hard time, uh, you know, just keeping, keeping everything going. Um, these little things I pulled out of storage. I did them last year, but now I'm playing around with them in a new way. And then here are some of the small eight by six finished works that I did. Um, you know, it just was really all I could handle at first. Now that I'm in my new space, I've been able to work big again, and so this is the first piece I did in my new uh, studio, and it's titled State of Mind. From there, I pulled out uh, these two drawings, vibrations of ohm, red and blue. They had been in storage in my flat file uh, for a while. I did them last year, but they really didn't fit into any of the shows that I was doing. Um, so I've pulled them out and now I've added vibration of ohm green. This is just a, a color immersive meditation that I've been doing. And I've decided from there to build a series of drawings that focus on the visual aspect of my personal meditation practice. So that's it from me. Thank you for asking. Hi, I'm Scott Woodard. I live in the Montrose area of Houston, Texas, and I work out of a small studio. Kay Sarver asked me to participate in the Art of COVID video interview series. She was interested in hearing from artists, what they've been experiencing during the lockdown, what they've been producing, working on, that kind of stuff. So when the lockdown started and got over the initial freaking out about how long that was gonna take, or be or whatever, the unknown about it. I uh, wanted to start some work that would take me some time to produce. I have a tendency to kind of hurry through pieces and I wanted it to take time, I wanted to spend time with it, really enjoy it, do some research on it and ultimately have a final product that I could be proud of. So I found a photograph of an end table from an interior that I had done. I also work in interior design and uh, painted that and was really happy with the results and really, really enjoyed the process. So that started this series of interior paintings, which I'd like to share with you. I've been working in a 24 by 36 format. Here's a piece, collected items with a painting based on a drawing by Adrian Shela, St. Sebastian. It's another shot of some interior pieces with Francis Bacon painting in the background from a triptych. It's called Still Life with Bacon. Here's a piece that just started Klaus Oldenburg, Mickey Mouse, with some Wedgwood. That'll be fun. 
that is a self-portrait from 30 years ago wearing a mask. So I hadn't noticed the synchronicity of these interior paintings and the fact that I was in lockdown until someone pointed it out, which is usually how it goes with me. I'm the last one to see my stuff. So here's another piece, Renee, Pablo, and Louise still life. I think it's kind of fun to include other people's work. So that's what I've been doing. Hope you're staying well and safe. Thanks for stopping by. Come back sometime. In the beginning of, of 2020, I was working on a series of pieces that were uh, the way I felt about nature, about our relationship with nature. And I was using wood, the elements, wood and metal and paint. And they were mostly non-figurative and then I moved to including myself in these images with me dreaming about different things and, and wood, I used wood to show that. Um, but I had, I had this urge to do more figurative work and so I played a bit after that with um, the idea of, of um, people laughing hysterically. You know, it's like your whole body is into it and there's such a fine line between laughter and screaming and, and crying and actually maybe they're all the same thing <laughs> sometimes. Um, and I kind of had fun with that. I was playing with gouache, which I hadn't done in years. And then I thought, you know, I want to I wanna paint people sleeping. I find that fascinating too. It's like we spend so much time in that state and we are, we're so, we go somewhere else, you know. That fascinates me, the dream world and, and, and even how we look physically while we're sleeping. We're really off somewhere, um, but I did one, and then, and then, COVID came into our area, and and I'm noticing, you know, the healthcare workers, and um, their vulnerability, their absolute necessity, really heroic. Uh, position to be in to keep that going with all the danger, the risk, um, and and I was fascinated by the look of their sort of flowing plastic robes, you know, so big to protect them, and and so I did a few of these pieces. Um, you know, but then I, I sort of reached a point where I felt like it still, it just needs to be more personal to me. And as I am sheltering in and what I'm feeling and um, come from there. So, well, I'll see where that goes. But this piece was just, you know, with me, a mask on my face and the darkness around my eyes was so telling. But, you know, I got a message in a dream some months ago and the voice was so clear it woke me up. It said, care, but do not carry the load. And I thought, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I needed to hear that. Um, and we do need to care, oh gosh, yes. I mean, more than ever and do what we can. Um, but we really need to take care of ourselves and be kind and loving to ourselves and others. Um, give yourself time to process, to adapt, however that looks for you. Um, if you're not creating right at the moment, don't be so hard on yourself. It's just, 
we need that. So I send that message to you and I send you love and I hope that you all stay well. Take care. Thank you.